All right, construction cronies, guys. Yo, I've done a few door videos and uh, finally got a door I can show you pretty much start to finish everything here. This is um, basically we got all our marks already drawn on the floors and on the top, okay? We're putting our door in. You're, you're centering your door in your in your opening, the opening you've framed, okay? So uh, whatever, 40, 40 quarter, typical, okay? There's your pin bolts, your hammer, that little piece of conduit you'll see. Um, basically, I'm putting the drywall in, okay? Just spacers down to uh, set my, my door and I'm hammering one pin in on each side. And it, it's really easy, guys. It, just put your bottom spacer like this to make sure your drywall fits because your wall's are already level, right? You already lasered in your wall, so that's level. You, can, you just gotta make sure now that your uh, drywall is gonna go in, okay? And the doors should be set to the drywall that's specified on the drawings, okay, and the wall size. And simple as that. You'll see here, uh, I got that little piece of conduit where I've cut to like six inches and I've, and I've hammered down the, the one end of it so I can get into tight places and it makes it easy to, to hammer down the pin bolt all the way in before I put the pin in. But uh, on this case here, okay, you set either side, one pin on each side of the door frame, and then you go back and you drill in the other two. So you put one pin in each side. That's a quarter inch pin bolt right there, okay, with a quarter inch drill bit. I'm using the hammer drill. Um, yeah, and this is, this is kind of crazy. I, uh, okay, the impact driver, I'm just using regular framing screws here, the pointies, okay? Those are uh, for light gauge framing, and I've, pre put the clips in at the doors at the the top hinge and the middle hinge okay uh, i've cut the tabs off so i'm not wrapping the tabs around the stud okay i'm doing it the proper way in this situation I'll, I, at the end i'll show you an example of using the tabs as well but right there i'm putting in the bottom stud okay i'm pushing it in i'm put i'm squaring it it's already squared okay because the lines are squared i always square my doorways so i'm just putting screwing in the bottom stud both sides okay I'm not screwing in the top yet. I'm pushing, I'm just gonna get it set now for drywall first, okay? The door frame, get those clips screwed in before I screw in, go up at the top. I'm just doing everything I can from the bottom. And again, I'm using a spacer, okay? I use a spacer at the bottom, spacer at the top, and that's it. You know your door will be level because your wall is level, right? So, um, and, and then we're gonna show you just as well what you do when you drywall here as well, okay? There's an extra step when it comes to drywall and light gauge and when you're doing door frames and light gauge. So uh, stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so you see I got my spacer in. Uh, I'm all just gonna push it in nice and snug, okay? Um, I'm not uh, forcing it in any way and I'm putting in, um, screwing in to the, through the backside of the stud here into the clip. All right, so I'm just using, like I said, the those light gauge framing screws, the pointies, and uh, my impact and screwing it in, okay? I put uh, two in each clip. Uh, you don't need to put a third clip in if you're hammer drilling them down to the floor, by the way. The, the, ham the pin bolts on the floor will act as your uh, third clip, but you're always, of course, more than welcome to use the third clip if you want. We, we just as, uh, you know, um, you know, piece workers, fast framers, and stuff like that. It's not. It's an extra step you don't really need to do. Uh, the drywall will make it nice and tight at the end if you do the drywall properly. So, uh, double studding all your doors. You can you can see I'm uh, I'm getting the first one in as uh, with the drywall space on both sides. So I got the one side done. I'm just gonna do the same on the other. Okay. I'm gonna put it. Real. You'll see right here. I've sped it up a little bit. I'm just I'm screwing in the bottom. Okay. It's already squared. I'm just putting it on my marks that I laid out previously. Okay, that's up to you to, to do your own layout and the elevations you always check your elevations too and you set your you pre-mark your headers and you always go to the high side of the floor right so that your your headers are, are level but yeah just using the same spacer in this case it's half inch uh, drywall and on the insides of the doors they there will be half inch drywall and tile so it's a uh, it's it's a little different in this situation so you should just uh, pay attention to your your schedule is like your finished schedules and then yeah here we go once I get the one well, nothing fancy here guys I put a spacer in the bottom pin bolts pin bolts uh, like you know two pin bolts each side now I got a spacer at the top you see there just two screws in each clip and the, your door is secure okay it's it that's your you know it's attached to the studs it's properly spaced for drywall jumping up to the top um i just put the laser on um 
just to check my marks, make sure everything looks good and nothing too crazy is out, and to just kind of show you along the video as well uh, that it's not it's flimsier with light gauge okay you got to finish it with the drywall which i'll show you how to do here in a second but basically yeah i'm just going up now i'm i'm putting a, a screw in the front squaring it and screwing the back side okay i'm squaring the the door studs this is very important and you've seen i just screwed in the one side of the header as well all right so that header is, is already pre-cut to the size that I laid out on the floor for my opening, right? Because that's what the consistency. I'm just putting my studs on their marks at the top because I've already lasered it in and measured it across with my tape measure. Uh, you see, just, yeah, screw it in, clamp, screw, or square, clamp, screw, right? And um, you're, you're good to go. You've already laid it out. I'm already checking where my first 16 is uh, to the door stud because the door stud is level, right? So I'm, I'm, I don't have to run my 16s or do anything crazy. All I'm doing is um, uh, copying the door, the door stud over um, from the door stud to the first 16 on the header, okay? But yeah, you see here, I just screwed in the header here, and uh, I'm now I'm marking the 16s on the header, and I already know the mark off the, off the door stud because I took it from the top, right? So it's like nine over to the first 16, and that's what I'll do, right? Uh, I'm checking my overall height. Okay, that's the overall height. And then I'm also going to check what it is from the top, like the bottom of the header here to the bottom of the uh, first knockout, right? Because then when I'm cutting my studs, I want my, my knockouts to line up. I can measure down. Uh, this is why you laser your door frames when you drywall because you see the light gauge is flimsy, right? So when you drywall, you always screw in your hinge side first, right? You don't screw off your sheets until you get your hinge side locked in, which will be this floater. Right here, it'll be a floater, okay? And we'll lock it in here. So we'll, when we come to drywall, you laser the inside here, and then that's what levels your door. But as for now, you just got your drywall spacer to, you don't level the front side, okay? Your wall's already level. You just use your drywall as a spacer, so you need to make sure you get your sheets in. So I got the header in, everything's square, right? Everything's square. So uh, now I'm gonna get my, my second stud in here. You can see I, what I'm doing is I'm pushing them over at the bottom, screwing them in both sides, right? All right, and then that's it. I'm gonna push over my, dump my second door stud here and it i don't have to use the square or anything like that i just got to push it up nice and snug to the the door studs th that i've already squared in and screwed in and uh, that will uh, close off access to the clip the screws that are in the clips so um and and if you're insulating these walls you want to insulate in between those as studs as well guys and you can see here how my, my knockouts line up uh just before we we got cut off there i i was measuring down to the header and that's what I do. I measure down to from a cutout and then make a mark to that and then measure from that up to uh, the overall height. And there you go. Here's an example of one of those doors with the clips, which I'll show you here in a second some more. But uh, yeah, and then when you're drywalling, you always level the hinge side first and you're golden, right? But uh, just do it like that. The header too, I always pre-square over my marks and that's when I what I use when I screw both sides of that in as well. So there's some there's the clips there you can see right and that's when you don't have access like you could use an angle bit there but um i have this one pin bolted down on both sides and then i got the two clips with the uh with the tabs on it but just just harder to draw well with the tabs that's why we do it like that literally on the hinge side laser the hinge side always all right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Remember, if you have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. And I highly recommend you watch this video right here if you want to keep learning how to metal stud frame, guys. This is Chris from Construction Cronies. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace, guys.